Hey there, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today we're going to be doing a full body stretch. So this can be for beginners or advanced, I'll be giving you a few variations of each stretch and you can do the one that feels most comfortable for your level at the moment. You can do this tutorial quite a few times and as you progress you can go on to the harder stretches. I do recommend before going into this maybe doing a quick warm up, jog on the spot for a little bit, get the heart rate up so you're ready to really stretch out those muscles. I want to say before we start, please, please, please be careful because I can't see you, so I can't be responsible if anyone gets hurt while doing this. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Hey guys, let's get straight to it. We're going to start with some slow roll downs rippling through the spine, feeling each vertebrae. The aim here is to touch the floor if you can. You can see the two variations here of how you can make this more difficult or a bit easier. We're going to do four bend and straightens of the knees, each time trying to think of extending your body closer to the floor. And we roll all the way back up, rippling through each vertebrae of the spine. We're going to repeat this movement one more time, rolling down four bend and straightens and then rolling back up. Great job. Our next stretch begins on the floor, opening up our legs into a butterfly position the aim of the game is to get the knees down towards the floor. We're going to do eight body waves, really thinking about extending our chest towards our feet in this position. As you can see, the beginner variation, you can start with having your knees slightly more lifted up, and as you progress, your knees will get closer and closer to the floor. We're going to lean forwards, trying to reach our chest to the floor and hold it for 20 seconds. Try and keep your knees as close to the floor as possible. This definitely stretches me, so hopefully you're feeling the burn too. going to do is for the hamstrings and we're going to extend our bodies over our legs making sure to keep our knees super duper straight to make this harder you can do it up on a raised surface like a pilates block or some pillows repeat the same with flexed feet holding for 10 seconds Great job. We're now going to get onto lunges, helping us stretch for our splits. Make sure the knee is tracking in one parallel line, not too far over the toes and not too far behind. You're going to hold this position for 10 seconds. We're going to lean back, point the front foot, straighten the front knee and put our chest down towards our knee and hold for 10. Keep breathing in each position. Our next stretch, we have two straight knees. Again, reaching down with our chest towards the floor. And our final one before splits, we're gonna bring up the back knee and stretch out our thigh. If you're struggling to balance in this position, you can always use the help of a wall or a bar 
or anything to help you stabilize. We're now gonna slide down into splits, really thinking about keeping the hips square. If you find this easy, you can again increase the difficulty with adding some yoga blocks or pillows. And alternatively, if you're finding it difficult, you can put pillows underneath until you feel more comfortable in this position. Great job. Repeat all the same stretches that we've just done on the other side. As you slide into the split, remember to keep those hips square. out our necks so gently tilt your head to the side with your hand and hold for 10 seconds you're then gonna do 10 nods of the head gentle in these stretches, not very aggressive. And shake your head side to side five times. Let's go on to the shoulders and arms. So stretching one arm across the body. And repeat on the other side. This next stretch, you grab the back of your elbow and pull it across. This is encouraging shoulder mobility. And repeat on the other side.
great job. The next stretch we're going to do is in straddle. We're going to stretch to the side, but please make sure not to lift your opposite glute off the floor in this stretch. Keep it solidly on the floor to get the maximum benefit of this exercise. And later on, we're going to be leaning forwards. Make sure those knees do not bend throughout. Here we go. Leaning to the side. If you're wanting to make this a little easier, you can just bring your legs into a smaller split position. And over onto the other side. This should not only be stretching your legs, but also the side of your body as well. And finally, we're gonna lean forwards and hold for 20 seconds. Our next stretch is a box split. So with the knees facing fours, shuffle your feet down into a full split. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Great job everyone. For our final few exercises we're going to be focusing on increasing our back flexibility. So just gently bending and arching the spine. We're going to do eight reps. When you bend think about drawing your belly button all the way to the floor and when you arch drawing the middle vertebrae up towards the ceiling as high as possible. Really see how much range you can get in your back in this exercise. Now we're gonna ripple through the spine into a seal position and back to the child's pose. Really think about leaving your head to last each time so you get that ripple through the spine, encouraging that mobility. We're going to do eight repetitions on this exercise too. Really focus on that rippling action. For our final stretch, we are going to go into a swan arch position and hold for 20 seconds. It's always important after you've bent your back one way to arch it the opposite way. 
So now we're just going to hold child's pose for 20 seconds to finish off this tutorial. And you're done. Massive well done. I really hope you enjoyed that follow along tutorial. If you're wanting to implement this into your own home training program, but you don't know where to start, I have an exclusive video just for my email subscribers to help you construct your own home training program. So if that's something you're interested in, click the link in the description below, sign up for free for my email subscriber list and you will be able to get access to that video and hopefully start constructing your own home training program. As I said at the beginning, this is gonna probably take a little bit of time to really see that progress. So maybe do this every day or every other day to really see yourself get to that next level. If you did find this video helpful, please let me know in the comments section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to press the subscribe button because I make videos like this all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss out. That's all from me for now. Make sure to dream big and make it happen.